Okay, we are going to go over an example where you are given the slope of a line and you're given one of the points that the line passes through, but you're missing one of the coordinates of the other point that the line passes through. So here, this slope example, find the value of x so the slope of the line passing through point A, which is ne at negative 1, 3, and B, which is at x4, is equal to 2. So let's first of all refresh our memory of what our formula for slope is. Your slope is equal to the change in y, so y2 minus y1, over the change in x, x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And now it's just a matter of identifying what pieces we have. So here, point A is our first coordinate. So this is x sub 1 and y sub 1. It's our first x coordinate and our first y coordinate. Um, point B, that's our second ordered pair. So this will be x sub 2 and y sub 2 in our slope formula. And the slope is m. So this 2 here represents slope m. OK, now let's go back to our formula there in blue, and let's plug in the pieces we know. The left side of the equation is m, and we know that the slope is 2. So we will say 2 is equal to, and then we plug in what we know. y2 is 4 minus y1, which is 3. And that is over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Well, x sub 2 is just x, so we are going to leave that as our variable x. And from that, we are subtracting x sub 1, which is a negative 1. OK, so now we have plugged in what we know, and we need to solve for x. So we are just going to go ahead and simplify what we can. The left side of the equation simply has a 2, so that remains 2. On the right side of the equation in the numerator, we have 4 minus 3, which we will just perform the operation. 4 minus 3 is 1. And in the denominator, we have x minus a negative 1, which turns into plus a positive. So in our denominator, this will stay x plus 1. Now, to go ahead and solve that equation for x, we want to go ahead and eventually get x by itself. But first, we want to get it out of the denominator. So to do that, we have to multiply both sides by the entire denominator, which is x plus 1. So the 2, we are also going to multiply that by the quantity x plus 1. Okay, and again, we're just doing that. We want to get rid of the x in the denominator. So to do that, we need to multiply by the whole denominator. And what happens on the right side of the equation, then, is that these cancel out, leaving us with simply 1 on the right side of the equation. On the left side of the equation, we are left with the quantity x plus 1 times 2. And now that 2, we would go ahead and distribute to both pieces within the parentheses. So 2 times x is 2x, plus 2 times 1 is simply 2, and that is equal to 1. Now it's just a simple two-step equation. We would go ahead and solve for x. And to do that, we would subtract 2 from both sides. plus 2 minus 2 cancels, leaving us with simply 2x on the left side. And on the right side of the equation, we have 1 minus 2, which leaves us with a negative 1. So now we're looking at the one-step equation. 2x is equal to negative 1. And we would go ahead and divide both sides by 2. So now we are left there, the 2's cancel. We are left with x on the left side of the equation is equal to negative 1 over 2, which does not simplify, so we will keep that as a negative one-half. And so the answer to this would be that point B would have to be negative one-half 4 for the slope of this line to be 2.